The other day, I went to a forest in my neighborhood as usual, and I stumbled upon this rock. The surface of the rock was pretty flat, so I thought, why not try painting on it? I have painted on wall, on wood, canvases and paper, of course, but never on rock before, so I brought it home, and today, I'm gonna try painting something on it. Since the winter is here, so I'm thinking about painting a cozy and Christmassy scenery. Well, for the last few weeks, I felt quite stressed, but recently I've been enjoying my slow living and unproductive days. I used to be the person who liked to speed up the process. When I started taking paintings seriously, I was upset with the thought I need to create as many paintings as possible. I need to finish the next painting, and then the next painting, and then the next. But I gotta admit, it feels so great to complete a piece of art. I love that feeling, and often I can't take my eyes off the painting I just finished. I love contemplating the things I create myself. But to be honest, fixating on the results just make me feel burnt out. You already know, to finish a painting, it could take you hours, days, or even weeks, months. So to rush to the end, I have to work more and more. Even when I already feel overwhelmed, my eyes tired, or my bottom, my back, and my wrist hurt, I still continue. I even push myself work harder. But now, every time I find myself overwhelming, I would just take a break, make a drink, water my plants, I have a walk in a forest. Just do anything to take my mind off the work and replenish my energy. Actually, I've been working on this painting as a gift for a friend. It's a scenery about Vietnam countryside, but it's quite big with so much details and I feel like it could take me forever to finish. So I want to take a break and paint on this little rock, which is so much easier and faster. This way, I can still feel relaxed and have all the fun with creating at the same time. You know, no matter how fast I want to jump to the end, I learned that some things take time for us to fully understand, to absorb the meaning and for us to grow, especially in creating art, playing music, or traveling and healing from the past. It's not something that you can just go fast forward. And mostly, it's not about the ending, but the process itself. Now, I just give myself all the time I need without thinking about the finish line. Even though my day could become less productive than I expect, but the important thing is I find it more meaningful. I have to admit that I'm not the person who is keeping up with the modern times and sometimes I even wish to come back to the old days when most things were done manually. But for me, there's more to life than just being efficient and getting things done. No matter how many paintings I complete, 100 paintings or 10 paintings, reading 50 books or 5 books a year, 
At the end, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. So I just stopped caring about checking off in my to-do list or the urge to complete one non-fiction book a week. Instead, I just check with myself what values did it bring into my life? Did I have fun? Did I serve someone? Did I feel inspired? And that's how I want to live my life. And it sometimes requires me to take more time to where I want to be. But that's okay. It's fine. Ta-da! Finished! I decided after that to paint on the other side of the rock, but I was lazy to set up the camera again. Wow, it feels so, so good. It feels like I just brought life to an abandoned rock. Anyway, I had so much fun and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next painting.